you're an awesome son. And I want you to know, with every passing year, I become more amazed at the man that you've become. You're a joy to my life and to so many others. So enjoy today to the fullest, the celebration of your life, because no one deserves it more. Happy birthday. I love you. Happy birthday, Jeremiah. We love you. Hope you have a great 40th birthday. We're going to be there to celebrate it with you, and I wish you a million more birthdays. Um, we're proud of you, and it's hard to pick just one memory of mine that's my favorite of you, but definitely my favorite quality is your sense of humor and your contagious laughter. Whenever Jeremiah starts laughing, it's impossible not to start laughing with him. Hilarious. But we love you. Misha loves you. We can't wait to see you. And uh, thankful to be part of your life. Yes, you're awesome. We love you. Love you. Happy birthday, Jeremiah. Happy, Happy 40th birthday. He's 40? Yep, Jeremiah is turning 40. Happy birthday. <laughs> All right, so we're supposed to pick out a favorite memory or a favorite thing about Jeremiah. Um, you want to go first? I'll go first. My favorite, I guess it wouldn't be a favorite memory. My favorite thing about my oldest brother is that with my oldest brother, he never, no matter what, has never judged me about anything. It was always just one-on-one -on -one with whatever was going on with me in my life. He would always just call me and ask about it or come see me and never just believe whatever anybody said and he always took the time to care and uh, I love you for that and I always will man and I wish you a million more happy birthdays. Happy birthday, love you. No. Happy birthday, Jeremiah. You can't be 40, because I'm not even 40 yet, so let's uh, let's stop aging. Happy birthday, miss you, love you. Hope to see you soon, buddy. Happy birthday, Jeremiah. Hope you're having a wonderful birthday. We love you. Everybody here in Massachusetts wishes you a great birthday, and we hope to see you again soon. Love you. Happy birthday. Jeremiah, we're sending you this birthday wish from New Hampshire. It's Casey, it's Marley, it's Grayson. There's Gray Gray, Casey, Marley, me. And uh, I wish you a, there is Nana and Christine. I wish you a happy birthday. I don't really know you. You know, birthday. you know Jeremiah. Jeremiah came with Peepa and you were hanging out with him on Papa's desk, uh, uh, deck. And you went and swimming in the pool and you hung out with Jeremiah. And that's what you hung out with. Yeah, we went out to lunch with him too. I remember. Uh, yep. Jeremiah, you should come to New Hampshire sometime. Bring everybody. You can hang out here with my annoying dogs. The dogs think that they're so And we love you. And we wish you a happy 40th birthday. I hope it's just as great as you are. He's turning 40? Yeah, he's turning 40. Isn't that crazy? What do you think? <laughs> happy 40th birthday, man. We hope to see you soon. We hope you have a great birthday and we love you. Okay, here we go. There's a lot of good memories of Jeremiah. As a teenager, through his 20s and on up through the years, but the one that really sticks out in my mind is when he had to have his wisdom teeth cut out. I took him to have this procedure done, and on the way up there, he says, I'm not getting any pain meds. I'm gonna do without them. I said, okay. So we went and got his wisdom teeth cut out. On the way back home, he started feeling pain. Well, when I got back to Winchester, I was gonna turn and go home. 
And he goes, I said, what? I said, what? He hear, painkillers. I said, oh, you want painkillers now? He said, yeah. So I went and got him the painkillers and took him home and he made it through the surgery. But it was kind of amusing. And what I like about Jeremiah the most is he's a sensitive, caring man. He doesn't mind showing his feelings. If something upsets him, he'll tear up. And that's not a bad quality in a man. And I've told him that. And I guess that's one of my favorite things about him. He's a sensitive, caring man. And that's not a bad thing. Love you, Jeremiah. Check it out, man. You want to ask me my favorite thing about Big Tula? He is like one of my favorite people. You can depend on Tula at work, but outside of work, you can really depend on him because he is like a best friend. I love him. He's just one of those guys, like I said, you can depend on. So, Big Tula, one of my favorite people, always. Happy birthday, Big Tula. Now, I guess my best memory of you would be uh, when you came out to the party where we had T.I. out there on Lee Highway and you said to me, I am coming to be your intern. I am coming to work for you. And I said, okay, well, just come on down. And you have been with us ever since. You've worked hard. You've grown. And I am so proud of you. And I'm so glad that you made 40 years. Happy birthday, big Tula. Take care, bro. Tula! Happy birthday! Welcome to the 4040 Club. Yo, so listen, you know this must be love because I don't do video. But I was threatened by somebody that you live with, so I'm doing what I was told. Just want to say happy, happy birthday. I hope you enjoy your day. Um, thank you for everything you do, for you know always being there at the radio station uh, whenever we ask. Thank you for being a friend, so professional and personal. You know, you're always there. You got a good heart. And who couldn't love Tula? So we are here to celebrate with you for your birthday. I wouldn't have missed it for anything. Just want to say I love you so much. Happy birthday. And never, ever, ever grow up. It's a trap. Happy birthday, Tula. Love you. Happy birthday to the homie Tula. Wishing you the best, man. One of the coolest cats that I noticed in the game. Uh, very smart dude, very generous cat, very dependable. And uh, one of the funniest dudes that I've met, still waiting on this dude to, to hit the stage so we can tell some jokes, man. So we're wishing you the happiest of birthdays, homie. And uh, Tula, happy birthday. It is your girl, Donna L. And I just want to say thank you so much for uh, being my friend all these years. And most importantly, happy, happy 40th birthday. It took me a minute to do a video because... Um, I was afraid that I would get emotional. I saw Cole, I saw Magic, I saw Nori, I saw Keith, I saw Jay, I saw Eric and Kiki, and I was like, oh my God, I gotta come through because I love this guy. And I just want you to know that, um, oh, I'm, getting, I'm the emotional sister for those that don't know. Um, I just wanna say that the world is so much better because you're in it. Tula, you have taught me so much about friendship. Me and you have had conversations about a lot of personal things that are good and bad. And through your comedy, through your friendship, through your motivation to even keep me going on my personal journey, you have been a solid rock even through some crazy stuff in this world. I know that I can always holler at my boy Tula. Man, uh, Tamala said that you were, that I was your mentor. Wait a minute, now I know I'm just a couple of years older than you, but it's okay. I, I'm your radio mentor, so I'm not offended by that. But I just want to say, man, you taught me so much about hip hop and music and artists and what songs to play and house party. And we had a good time together. And um, I just want to say thank you. Thank you for who you are. Thank you for being that solid rock. Thank you for sharing and being transparent with me in a world of people that aren't necessarily transparent. And thank you for always loving me no matter where I am uh, in life and in this community. You have been a solid rock because, man, this is one of the funniest dudes. If you don't know Tula for real, 
Ugh, I always shed these tears, but Tulu's a really funny dude, man, and he just has a heart for family and people, and uh, I just love you for who you are. So happy 40th. The world is better because of you, and every single day uh, I see you thriving and, and making things happen, man. It just makes me proud. So, mwah, DL loves you. Happy 40th, baby. My buddy, uh, Big Tulu. It's your girl, Cole Brown. And I just want to say my favorite memory of you is uh, actually meeting you when you were a student at the University of Tennessee at Chattanooga. You needed a job shadow uh, opportunity at Power 94. And uh, Dr. Mickey called me and she said, can you help my student? And I was like, I really don't do that. But uh, I was so glad that uh, the moment I saw your face and I saw your passion and um, yeah, I really enjoyed that moment. But let's just fast forward a little bit. So here I am merging into higher education and then my students, guess who they wanted to meet? Big Tula. You were like this larger than life um, personality that they wanted to meet. They could have met anybody else in that radio station, but the students here, they were like, we wanna meet Big Tula. Um, some of the reasons because uh, they can connect with you and also because you come from the program that they're in. And um, at first I was like, what? You wanna meet Big Tula? And then I was like, heck yeah, you wanna meet Big Tula. So I am so happy for you. And uh, one of my favorite things about you, and it's always been consistent, is the fact that when we do see each other, you will just kinda lean on my shoulder. It's this brother sisterly love that we have together. And uh, I really, really appreciate that because it's always like I can come home, you can come home. And thank you for everything that you do in this community. Uh, thank you for serving for me when I need you uh, and you don't take all day to reply you like what you need so i want to say thank you um wish you continued success and ah and i always look forward to seeing you much Tula, love. happy birthday you are the big four oh oh my gosh happy birthday to you happy birthday to you happy birthday bff Tula. happy birthday to you I am wishing you many more blessed years. I am wishing you health, wealth, and prosperity. You know, if it wasn't for you, I always say this, UTC would have been a horrible experience for me. But because of you, because of your friendship, you have made my life so much better. And I appreciate you and I thank you. Tamla, thank you for allowing me to be a part of this birthday celebration for one of the best guys walking this planet. Tula, happy birthday. I love you. I love y'all. I miss y'all. Mwah! Happy birthday. Happy birthday, Tula. Welcome to the 4040 Club. I'm not there yet, but you are, and you are an amazing person. Thank you so much for taking me under your wing. You showed me so much. You were very humble. I felt like Norino was your best friend at first, but you know what? I think I took her place. Ain't gonna be no toe. Listen, happy birthday. I love you. You're like one of my best friends, and I hope you enjoy this new chapter in your life. Hey, what's up, man? This is Wally Sparks. Happy birthday. Shout out to my man, Big Tula, man. Shout out to all them times you helped me get those gigs at UCC, bro, man. I appreciate that. That's what helped me get started. So, happy birthday to you, bro, man. Have a good one. Peace. Happy birthday, Tula. I hope you have a wonderful day, and I hope that you have more birthdays to come. Um, one memory that I remember specifically is when I started working at the radio station, you opened your arms up to me, you allowed me to, you know, upload songs and stuff like that. When we would do the um, performance for Spring Jam, and I think we did a Summer Jam, you always kind of guided me um, and allowed me to, you know, work side by side with you. So I definitely appreciate that because that opened so many doors when I went to college and I wanted to DJ. Sorry to uh, your video was cut short, but I'm in the airport. But I just, again, I wanted to wish you happy birthday. And I wanted to thank you for molding me and assisting me in being the best mentor in high school. Um, so have a wonderful birthday to it. Love you. What it do? It's your favorite star, DJ J Star. Happy birthday to you. You about to be 40 here in a minute. That means when you're 50, that means I'm going to be 40. And we still going to be living our best life. <laughs> No, but one of my favorite memories, the old Will Tulis, when I was an intern, I think it was like 2010, and we rode to, I think, Atlanta or Memphis, somewhere, Nashville, looking for some fraternities or sororities for his um, 
back to school events we used to throw. So we had some good conversations and we was just lit. And that was like one of my first time, I think, actually going out with somebody with the radio set. So it was real cool. And one of my favorite things about Tula I love is just his sense of humor. And not only that, you just dependable and you just so cool. You so fly and you always put your mind to things and you just smart as heck. Like you have so much knowledge that people need to know. So I love everything about you. Inside, outside, thank you, Tamla. And happy birthday. Arr, from the first time. <laughs> We're gonna take a shot. Happy birthday now. What's going on, Tula? It's your boy, Ken the African Thunder, man. I just wanted to let you know, wish you a happy birthday, man. You know, all love, bro. I want to let you know my favorite memory of you, you know what I'm saying, of us was just that we were in the, uh, we were in the studio just cracking jokes about, um, you know, homecoming, about, you know, different stuff that's um, around the city, uh, different events that we could possibly do. Um, you know, just just having a good time. And you know what I'm saying? Uh, that kind of let me know that was the first moment where I realized, wow, you know what I'm saying? It's not just a co worker, like he acts cool, you know, cool guy, he's a friend, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know, you the homie for real. And I just want to let you know, like, man, I appreciated that. The best thing, my favorite thing that I love about you, bro, is just that your ability to make someone feel comfortable and your inspirational. Um, the inspirational attitude, man. Like um, a lot of a lot of the things that I was going through, you know, whether it be work related or personal. Uh, without you, like I would not have had the positive mindset to continue to keep pushing forward and continue to keep pushing through. You encouraged me to keep my energetic attitude, continue to uh, push me to keep that positive mindset and understand. You know, you you always believed in me, and uh, that that inspiration and motivation that you continuously provided on a uh, continuous basis, man. I really appreciate that. So, you know, much love, bro. You know what I'm saying? You are the homie, big homie. Um, just want to wish you a happy birthday. Turn up for Jesus, man. You know what I'm saying? Hey, you know, we in this thing. Hey, but I'm out. Keep it locked, bro. Turn up for Jesus. Enjoy your birthday, man. Big ups to my homie, Big Tula. Happy birthday, my man. Your boy, Van D in the building. Today is your day, man. Enjoy your day. I hope you have a good time, man. I hope all goes well for you and everything. And uh, kind of drink too much, you know what I'm saying? Your boy, Van D. Peace. Happy birthday, Tula. What's up, Big Tula? Happy birthday. It's your boy, Bacon, here. Working hard, doing your favorite thing, playing a little bit of video games. Uh, favorite memory uh just so many man we've we've had so many memories over the years since i've known you since i moved to chattanooga back in 07 probably the biggest memory that you probably don't like or is just um it just stick in my mind is when your house flooded the first time i was here in chattanooga and uh, me and my brother came out to help get y'all out man it was i know it's a sad memory but um but it's a memory, but we have so many more good ones, watching all the movies, our, our debates back and forth, our discussions, music, artists, different things, but that's one of the things, but one of my favorite things about you is your uh, your openness, you're willing to share your, your skills and your abilities. Uh, you've done a lot of stuff for me and Michelle in our business with your graphic design work and logos and stuff, and um, we've appreciated that so much. And so. I value your friendship. Uh, my wife jokes about our bromance all the time, but uh, I consider you my brother. I was an honor to have you as part of my wedding as one of my groomsmen. That was a, another great memory that we had in North Carolina. Uh, and so I love you. Uh, happy to see you make it to your 40th birthday. Can't wait to see what else uh, is in store. Thank you. Hey, happy birthday, Tula. I'm so glad that we get to celebrate with you. Um, thank you for just simply being you uh, since day one. You've definitely had a bromance with James, and so I love always having you around. And I can't wait to spend many more years uh, with a friendship between all of us. Happy birthday, brother. I just wanted to tell you that uh, you're probably one of the most genuine, honest, and smartest people I've ever met and had the opportunity to work with. Um, if it wasn't for you, I wouldn't have bought my Nintendo Switch, I wouldn't have bought Breath of the Wild, and I'd probably be not have played as much Call of Duty. Which I know in your heart that you're going to buy Call of Duty 
blackout. I know you will. I know I know you have your doubts right now, but uh, I believe in you, brother. I know you'll do it, and we're going to play. Love you, man. Happy birthday. Hey, man. I just want to give a shout-out to my boy, Tula, because, you know, it's his birthday. We're hitting a milestone. You know, welcome to the 40 Club. All I got to say is I hope you have a great birthday, man. Hey, guys. So you have a birthday barreling down on you. Um, I'm delighted to be able to participate in it in this way. Fortunately for me, I'm going to be camping on Cumberland Island, and you know how much I like camping, and that's what I'll be doing on your birthday. But Jeremiah, I can't begin to describe how important and special you have been to me. Um, You have so much more humanity in you than almost anyone else I know. Um, I know most of our time together has been um, through work, and I felt so fortunate to have you as a member of our team. We've had such important work that we've done together. You were always willing to do whatever was asked. I know I pushed you in some areas, particularly around supervision, which you didn't always enjoy, but despite how you felt, I believe your staff had a lot of respect and always wanted to do what was best for you and the program. Your leadership has always been evident, whether you're doing training modules and who else but you could make crisis intervention training be enjoyable. And of course, the sanctuary plan that we put in place. Um, We just um, have had so many different um, work goals together, but your tour de force, I think, is your skills with the children and with the families. I don't think you have any idea the impact you've had on families in Southeast Tennessee, but um, I know and they know, and you're just a very special man. And I want to have an opportunity to wish you a very happy birthday and hope that you have a great year ahead of you. Um, I care about you deeply. Miss Elizabeth. Hey, Tula. First off, I want to just tell you happy 40th birthday. I hope you have a wonderful celebration. Um, And I just want to send my love your way and tell you um, pretty much how incredible it has been for the many years that I was able to work with you. Um, Your insight, your... Um, sincerity, your ability to work with youth, um, and most importantly, your friendship, um, I have truly, truly valued. Um, we had some really good times together, including a trip to New York. Um, we had some pretty awesome town halls. Um, you always knew how to dress up, put on some costumes, and um, you definitely knew how to become the life of the party. Um, but I just hope you know Um, how important you have been, not only to me, but to Chambliss and this community in general, and all the youth you've been able to work with. Um, You truly have some amazing gifts, and I hope you know that, and I hope you continue to share those with this community for many years to come. Happy birthday, Tula. Take care. Hello, Tula. It's your friend, Stacy. It's, um, it's uh, really great that you're having a birthday um, and you're so young. Um, I'm on the floor right now fixing the sink, but I thought what a perfect time to text Tula and wish him a happy birthday and just tell you what a great person you are and how much good you do for everybody and you know, all, all, this, all the stuff that people want to hear, but it's all true. You truly are a captivating, interesting individual who I have nothing but respect for and I hope that you have a great birthday with your hot girlfriend. Bye. Hey buddy, this is Nate in Rome. We just want to say happy birthday and that you have an awesome year. We miss you. I miss working with you at Camelot. I always enjoyed the times we had in treatment team where you brought life, laughter, made uh, treatment team a lot more fun and uh, make us have fun. I think it was... uh, we used your truck to help a client get a mattress to their house because they didn't have a bed. So, man, just keep at it. I love your heart for Chattanooga. Uh, keep doing what you're doing. And, man, let's uh, let's get together sometime, man. Love you. Bye. Oh, so, what's up, man? Happy motherfucking birthday. 
Hey, Oos. I love you. For real. I mean, with all my heart. And my brother. Forever. The end. Happy motherfucking birthday. Just wanted to um, say a couple words on your special birthday or day that you've been on this planet. Um, <laughs> like uh, I just wanted to let you know how proud I am of you. Uh, you guys raised three beautiful girls. I know that you're a grandparent now. Um, congratulations, by the way. Uh, I'm blessed to be able to let you know how important you've been, how good a friend you've been to me, to my family. Uh, in the last couple years, I've seen how you've uh, stepped up and um, you know became a man and taking care well you've always been a man but how you step up and took care of responsibilities as it came to you in the last couple of years man i've been so proud of you um i respect you i love you um i just want to let you know how important you've been in my life and uh, how important you are to your family because i see i see as i see um them growing up man i see your influence all over the place uh, i love you bro Happy birthday. <laughs> Happy birthday. Uh, yeah, this guy. All right, love you, fam. Love you, too. See you soon. Oh, wait, love you. Bye. <laughs> What's up, Big Tula? How you doing? Happy birthday, brother. Listen, um, today as you celebrate your birthday, man, I just want to wish you a happy birthday. And uh, I am so blessed to have you as a friend. Tomorrow had reached out to me uh, to do this video for you. And... Um, for sure, man. Happy birthday. My favorite memory of you, Tula, um, is all your lame jokes. That uh, Nah, I'm just kidding. I think it's this uh, when we're at um, in the dorms and all the parties and all the stuff that happened there. Uh, just having you around, man, was, was awesome. And, man, it's, happy birthday, bro. Um, you were definitely somebody that we needed uh, around because, you know, coming from the islands, we didn't know anybody. And then to make it even more special that you are also Samoan or Polynesian, it made it even um, unique and exciting uh, for me. Not only just for me, but all the other uh, brothers that were there during this time, man. And uh, Tula, again, uh, I want to wish you a happy birthday. Um, what's the other question? Third thing about Big Tula is, is he's a funny dude, man. He definitely has a mouthpiece, and uh, you know, with the radio station stuff, you're doing your your thing, you're you're doing big things, bro. And um, just a uh, happy birthday again, bro. And uh, live life to the fullest, and just uh, enjoy life, man. Life is meant to be great, my brother. All right, hit me up when you get a chance again. Uh, happy birthday, man, and uh, everyone else that's watching this. One love and uh, take care of yourselves. As you can see, I'm here in my office. You got to come out here to Cali one day too. Tula, and uh, we can hang out, okay? Talk to you later, bro. Late. What's up, Tula? It's Matt. Uh, happy Big Four. Checking in from Charlotte. Proud of you. Uh, best memory I have of you? Well, we have a lot of memories from 126, from chat, from when you came up here for Thanksgiving, and when I came back to visit, a lot of parties, a lot of laughs. But honestly, my favorite memory is when you came up here a few years ago, and I have my memory of you as a man, as a family man, with your your, your lady and your your family, and uh, and you, I got you got to share time with my family. So my favorite memory is coming back together as men and, and seeing what type of man you become. I'm really proud of that. Uh, plus, when I got to chat, you wasn't drinking, smoking no more. So you probably got a lot more funnier stories of me than I got of you. But uh, and I'm probably, I'm sure there's a lot of funny stories. So that's a serious one. And uh, I really mean that from the bottom of my heart. And one of my favorite things about you is you're a light in the dark. Uh, you have a pure heart, pure intentions, and uh, 
always love that about you and appreciate you. Happy birthday. Wish we could be there. Much love to you and the family. Peace. Yo, Tula, my brother. My brother from another mother. We go way back, brother. Back to freshman year of college, back to Bowling 328. We had so many great times in college, dude, from the crazy dorm parties uh, all the way to that time you uh, did that thing in the gym and you needed my help to hide the... Never mind. Forget about that. But hey, we had a great time in college. Uh, you've been my boy since uh, since back in 97. And uh, whether you officially lived in the dorm room and you actually had a room or you lived on the couch for the whole year, we've always been roommates throughout college, man. I've always loved you and appreciated you for everything you've done. Uh, great times, great experience. I'm very proud how your life has turned out, brother. You, uh, you've really uh, done well with yourself. Uh, shout out to uh, Tamala for putting up with you and to grooming you into uh, a good family man that I know you could have been. But uh, who knew you'd have got this far in life, but you've done well. Uh, you're doing your thing on the radio. Uh, what I love about you is that you got a big heart. You care about the kids, uh, those who are yours and not yours. Uh, you work really hard for them. Uh, you care about people. Uh, you love people, you have a big heart, and, uh, and that's one of your best qualities about yourself. Uh, not to mention the, the cool swag gear you always come up with, and you're funny, dude. You are just a really funny guy, and um, so all those things make you a great friend. Uh, we go a long way. I'm glad that we do. I'm glad that we're still connecting. I wish you a happy birthday. Uh, take care. Have a great birthday, and uh, be best, brother. Be blessed. What's up, Tula? Just want to check in on you, man. Wish you a happy 40th birthday. Hope it's a great one. I love you, brother. Be good. I'll talk to you soon. What's up, y'all? It's Arch. I just want to wish a happy 40th to my man, Tula. Um, as far as memories go, this one dates all the way back to when we were kids. Me and Tula came up, and I can truly say this man has always been one of the most genuine and unbelievable human beings I've had the privilege of getting to know in my entire life, and it's a true blessing that I've been able to carry on this whole lifelong friendship that I've had, brotherhood, I should say, uh, with my man Tula. Goes back to Winchester, Tennessee, goes through Chattanooga, goes from him and, and I trying to scrape together a couple pennies so we could have enough gas to even get back to the Franklin County, you know, on the weekends during college and everything to us chasing our dreams and ambitions of everything we wanted to do. And I just want to say that I could not be any prouder of my man Tula. Um, and it's just an absolute blessing that I get to go through this life of mine and shared it with him in Tula. Happy 40th to you. I hope you got another 400 coming your way and um, much love to you. Big Tula, what's going on, buddy? I thought if I was gonna make you a video, uh, where else to go than right here on campus or it all started for us here in Chattanooga. Uh, I was trying to think of some uh, memories or funny stories we could share, but I think we ate so much spinach in college. I don't remember much of anything. So, uh, but I do want to clear up one story that only me and you know about, and I'm absolutely positive strong 60% anyways, that it was a female that night in Bowling Apartments. Now keep that between me and you, right? Don't share this video with anybody. Uh, but in all seriousness, I love you. If anybody should be uh, surrounded with their friends and family on their 40th birthday, it's you. You've always been a great friend to everybody. So with that said, uh, you know I like to party, so let's have a good time and uh, introduce me to some single women. My God, mate. Tula, happy 40th. Hope you have a good one. It's been a long time, bud, but anyways, I don't really have a specific memory or story to tell, but you know, I just got a whole lot of memories back in the high school, college days, Bowling 230, shout out there, yeah. Um, anyways, a lot of memories. Always just remember you being around, would do anything for anyone. You were a good friend, still are. Miss you, hope you have a good one and uh god bless tula happy 40th birthday um i hope all is well i've known you for a long long time it goes back to the early days uh back when i used to beat you in nba live madden college football maybe even tech mobile that's how long it's been um i hope you enjoy it I hope I'm there in person. I can't remember. I know it's 1010, but I can't remember the actual party up right now. I think I may have a conflict, but I hope I'm there. If not, I um, love you, man. And uh, enjoy it and have a cocktail for me. What's up, Big Tula, man? What's going on? Life treating you good, I know. 
Hey, man, happy 40th, dog. You there or whatever. Um, man, one of the things that I like about my big homie is, man, he's a people person and he's always there. You know what I mean? And one of the wildest experiences we had, man, was back in the days when I was working at the movie theater or whatever, and he, Big Tula had everybody down there, and we enjoyed ourselves at the Bijou. As a matter of fact, Big my man, Tula, you everything, man, big dog, and it's gonna always be good here. You take care of yourself, man, and I hope your 40th is outrageously too crunk, you know what I'm saying? You take care of yourself, buddy, and uh, all is well. My wife said, hey. Happy birthday. Big Tula. Big Tula. What's happening, big dog? Uh, just wanted to reach out to you. Wanted to wish you a happy birthday. Um, you know, been back in chat for a little over a year now, so I know how busy you are, and I know I'm real busy, big dog, but I just want to take, take a quick second to reach out to you. Um, Probably, probably my biggest Tula memory is uh, the Samoan cookouts and bowling apartments back at UTC back in the day. And um, and also anytime he got the opportunity to play something by Pastor Troy, he made sure he did that for the boys. Um, you know, big, big Tula, man, I think one of the best things about you, big dog, is that and you a genuine dude, man. Like you've always been the same guy, you know, since the first day I met you, man, you've always been willing to help you did anything for for us back when we played even up until now man you always pick up the phone anytime i call or anytime we need anything man so i just want to tell you i appreciate you big dog and happy birthday man what up bro got the message you got another big day coming up yeah you know who it is you know we go all the way back to texaco chicken and miss mary at the bp so yeah, bro, every day, all day, you know what's coming up. Hit me, I got a lot of feed for you. And happy birthday to you again, bro. One. Hey Tula, happy birthday. It's fitting, I'm recording your message here at Finley Stadium. Lots of good memories here. Looking for a Ruby Falls first down right now. Hey, we need you, man. We need you. Got lots of memories from college. You were the man on our couch for a long time, but my favorite Tula memory definitely happened here when uh, my dad traded a doobie to one of your friends for a t shirt. And that was pretty Anyway, uh, love you, man. Happy birthday. Stop my <laughs> hey, Jerbal, Tula, whatever, Big Tula. Heard it's your birthday. Got a hand dead notebook because I heard we're doing a tribute for you. Ah, the first time I met you. Okay, so first time I met you, I think it was, it was some emergency thing, and I went to Chambliss at night that might have been your first day first week it was over over a decade ago like i told you can't remember over 40 you there too so you don't remember you are <laughs> you ain't got no for this is true or not but uh i remember you were sitting in a chair because i was like oh wow wow this is the the first american indian i have ever seen in my life you know because you have those plants and and everything and then I was like well I'm not quite sure you know could be an Eskimo so I was a little bit confused there didn't quite know you know where you came from but then you started talking you talking all professionally and pretty cool and nice I guess you know that's how y'all do when y'all get in these jobs so you Probably it took a little long time to pay you a good job. So you're talking about, and I remember your little supervisor was crazy. And she started talking about all kind of diets. And then you said, I got some dehydrated rations, some dehydrated food, a box of them at home, and I can bring them to you. And in my mind, well, what you probably saw, I probably was scattered around, probably all that. 
But in my mind, I'm like, this motherfucker lad, you know good. <laughs> you know good damn well you ain't eating no dehydrated food. Now that you know what, do not be judgmental, because he may be eating dehydrated food. But you know good damn well you was putting something with it. Let's just be real. So that was the first time I met you. Uh, nice getting to work with you. We worked on a case with a, uh, a bad kid. Then I found out uh, they was calling you Big Tula. And I was like, oh, okay. Uh, Big Tula, I ain't never heard of Big Tula. Then you said you was on the radio. This was like days or maybe times 10 of working. You said you was on the radio. They don't like shit, nobody listen to the radio. <laughs> there might have been some in the 70s, but not in the early 2000s. Shit, we listening to CDs, you know, so I ain't, I ain't really know who the fuck you was. Then I did do it into radio, because I thought, well, shit, people lie. You know what I'm saying? I wouldn't lie about being on the radio, but shit, motherfuckers lie all the time. So then I did hear you on the radio, and it did sound like, it was like you were working at the radio, and then you had called, and you were just like, Sorry to disturb you, which it was on Saturday because that's you was working there. But it's on Saturday, I'm thinking, oh, okay, somebody must be dead. And the only reason you fucking called me on a Saturday was to tell me that somebody's mama had been picked up for prostitution in the school zone. Oh, okay, my funniest memory. I would say my funniest memory of you was kind of how we used to strategize. And it was, we strategized for the greater good and that we both like Marvel, so we just like the damn superheroes, the social work case, better bitch, child welfare. You know, so we just uh, got this kid, folks still give him a chance. He, he kind of looked junky a little bit. He was a teenager, always running away. And so we were just like, dang, they keep bringing them back. They keep bringing them back, bringing them back, doing the same thing. So we decided that the best thing for this little motherfucker to do was to go off somewhere because he, he's running away. You know what I'm saying? We can't do nothing with it. As soon as, soon as he come, he runs. As soon as he come, he runs. Doing games, doing drills, all kinds of stuff. So we get in the media. Gonna do the same old, same old again. And then we trade that superhero look. And it was on. So anyway, so we got this kid, and you know who I'm talking about. Uh, we got him sent to Kingsport. <laughs> Score for the team. Score for the team. But what our dumb asses did realize is that we was gonna have to take this damn big ass runaway overgrown teenager on drugs to Kingsport. And we did not volunteer for it, but I mean. I guess it backfired. So anyway, we had to take him to Kingsport. Uh, did you drive? I don't think you did, to be honest with you. But, nah, you did. She ain't got to even act like I thought that you did in that much. You get on the radio, like ain't nobody even know you. <laughs> well, not Indian, not of Eskimo shit. Don't nobody know that either. But didn't nobody know you Samoan. Everybody think you black. But then when you get mad, you get white as hell. Uh, favorite things about you. I put very kind-hearted because I do. I think you are very kind-hearted. I think you will go above and beyond um, for people. Sometimes I think, well, I'm sorry. Sometimes I think you go above and beyond for maybe sometimes when people don't deserve it. But like you said, it's not always about that. So far, you, you're, you're a good friend. You are, I even say, um, it was just different times where I needed to talk about stuff. Uh, and maybe that's not kind of hard, maybe that's a good listener, you know. So that's part of it too, that's another one. Say you always told me the truth. So that, that I mean, that's a good thing about you. Uh, quick with it, you know. So you are quick with it, you know. And that's just because you talk a lot of shit. Just straight <laughs> there it up. But you do, you do it quick, you do it quick. With that being said, I just want to say one final happy birthday. Wishing you the best, wishing you many more, wishing you, I mean, just nothing but the best. Thank you for becoming my friend. Thank you for being my friend. 
and I appreciate you and you deserve the world. Happy birthday. Man, I want to give this big happy birthday shout out to my boy, the homie Big Tula. I just want to say happy birthday, bro. I hope you live it up and enjoy your day. We've been knowing each other for a long, long time, my man. Way back when both of us used to rock braids. And the way it's going, I feel like we're going to be friends to the end, till both of us rocking grays. <laughs> I love you, homie, and I hope you enjoy your birthday. Live it up. Hey, what it do? This is your homeboy, Coop the Beat, man. In the studio, getting the honor society rated. But I want to give a big shout out to my homeboy, Big Tula. Happy birthday, big homie. Time to turn up. Yo, Tula. Happy birthday, man. Welcome to the 40 Club. It's a beautiful thing. Come on in. Uh, I will see you. Uh, we'll we'll kick it. We'll get us something to drink. Talk about this football game and this Miami Heat and this hateful LeBron. We'll talk. Uh, happy birthday, man, again. Happy birthday, Tula. Happy birthday, Tula. We're wishing you a very special happy birthday yeah. from all of us. What you got to say? Do the dab for your birthday. It's so cool. <laughs> You do the dance. Bye. I hope you enjoy. Happy birthday to you. I guess Tula's birthday. So happy birthday, Tula. Say happy birthday. Say happy birthday. Happy birthday from your family in Texas. Happy birthday. Uh, happy birthday. Tyrone. Happy birthday, honey. Hey, Tula. Just want to give you a shout out for your big birthday, Big 40. Okay, here we go. Happy birthday to ya. Happy birthday to ya. Happy birthday. Happy birthday to ya. Happy birthday to la. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. We love you. Love you. Happy birthday, Tula. Have a wonderful 40th birthday. And many more. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Tula. Happy birthday to you. Hi, Tula. Happy 40th birthday. You're officially over the hill now, old guy. <laughs> Wishing you many more. Much blessings. Mwah. Hey, Tula. It's Courtney. And Patrick. We have so many memories with you that we can't narrow down to just one. You're always a joy to be around. We love you. Happy, happy birthday. birthday. Hey, happy birthday, Big Tula. Congratulations for making another year, man. Hey, I remember you should let me put up them rails to get those backstage passes. Hey, it was good times, man. All right, man. Have a good birthday. What's up, Tula? Just wanted to tell you happy birthday. And some of my favorite memories with you is when you used to take me to the radio station and let me watch you record and get to meet all them famous people you used to come to Chattanooga. Again, happy birthday. Hope you enjoy it. Happy birthday, Big Tula. Happy birthday, Tula. I love you. First off, I would like to start off by saying thank you for everything you do. And I'm, I really appreciate it. Thank you for being a role model to me and as well as being a father figure i really appreciate it. but my favorite memory was one halloween we was me day janala i think gabriel was over corny's house you had just bought you a mask um and then y'all rushed us outside y'all called us outside and you're standing on the side of corny porch and i came outside and you scared me and i'm just like Screaming right there looking at you. That was so freaking scary. Okay. But that was my favorite memory because we always get this impression that um, we, we're not going to be the, the one on the movies where if they get scared, they either go looking for what's typically trying to scare them or we're not going to just stand there. We're going to run. No, that is not the truth. When you get scared, you're shocked, and you just stand there in horror. <laughs> so I just want to say happy birthday again. I love you. The twins love you, especially Peyton. Yes, the slob, the drool, that's kisses. Mwah. Have a nice 40th birthday. Love you. See you soon. Hi, Tula. Happy birthday. Thank you for being a, an amazing person in my life. 
helping me strive to be the greatest that I can be. My favorite memory will probably be um, about a year and a half ago when we took the trip to Gatlinburg, me, your mom, and I. And we went to the little stop curb stores and we went to um, that restaurant where the where the people are rude. I think it's called Dick's. Okay, yeah, Dick's. I just felt like we really bonded and had great family time. I think we got me and Maya got to argue one time, but thank you for supporting me, loving my mother, letting her know that she's amazing, like she is. You are a very hard worker, and I really appreciate you. From the bottom of my heart, I will make you and mom proud. Happy birthday again. I hope I make it to the four. Hey, Dad. Happy birthday. I love you, and I hope you're having a great time. Um, I just want to thank you for all our special memories and moments together, our vacations. You've taught me how to be a great young teenage woman. You gave me great advice. You teach me how to do good in school. You try to help me be myself and just forget what everybody else says and just... You basically are awesome, and you're special to me, and you're my awesome nerd, and you just make me feel really special, and we have a lot of memories together. I don't want to talk about it, because it's going to be a long video. <laughs> so, um, I really love you, and you're the only that I have, and you're really special to me, and um, you're just great, and I really love you, Dad, and I hope you have a good day, and a good birthday, and I love you. <laughs> Tula, I just want to say thank you for the wonderful life that we have together. You could have picked any girl on BlackPlanet.com, but you chose me. You encourage me to follow my dreams, and you make me feel like I can accomplish anything. You are my soulmate. I cherish every day of our lives together. You is smart, you is kind, and you is important. Now, for real though, you are the smartest, kindest, most gentlest, giving man I know. Thank you for helping me raise the girls and for loving me every day. Happy 40th. Damn, we get it. Hey, honey. I just wanted to wish you a very happy birthday. I got a goddamn speech. Okay? Got a goddamn speech. I can't fucking memorize it. So I'm like, fuck it. I'm just gonna wing it. I just want you to know how much I care about you and how much of a blessing you have been to my life. Thank you so much for helping me raise the girls. Thank you for inspiring me. With you, I feel like I can do anything. Anything that gets thrown at me, anything that the world has for me, I feel like that I can accomplish it as long as I have you by my side. I just want you to know you are the smartest, most giving, kindest, gentlest man that any of us have ever known and I just want to say thank you so much for being a part of my life and for being a part of the girl's life. I hope we have many more years together and I love you. Happy birthday.